in one of the previous video we have discussed about this stress strain diagram for the typical columns there are two potential cases for the columns where the columns may undergo tensions or without tensions the differences between these two cases is the positions of the neutral axis happening within the cross sections of the columns or outside the cross sections of the columns this leads to different response of the column in terms of the strength as well as the stress plot of the columns in terms of the strength limits the strength limits for the columns undergoing tensions is defined here as epsilon cc which is 0 0.0035 as for the columns undergoing compressions the strength limit will happen here which is at the positions of 3h per 7 with the strength limit epsilon cc of 0 0.002 with the strength the mix here it is easy for us to determine the strength in the compressions and the tension steel for both of the cases of course in this stand on the assumptions that the strength relationships is linear throughout the cross section this slide demonstrate the process for us to determine the compression strength and tension strength of the steel in the concrete for both types of column sections. It is basically obtained from the interpolations of the strength profile of the columns. Now let us look at the strength of the compression steel in column here, epsilon SC. We are looking at two triangles here. The strength limits of 0 0.0035 is related to the neutral axis X. As written here, as you know that the triangles is proportional and the ratios of the base and the height of the triangle will also be proportional. In order for us to determine the strength of the compression steel, we will need to obtain the respective height of this height of the triangle. This is obtained by minusing the x with the d prime, as written here. From the equation here, move the base here to the opposite side, you will get these equations. By using these equations, as long as you know the positions of the neutral axis, you are able to determine the strength in the compression steel. Same concept is applied for the tension steel. Since the line here is proportional, we are looking at the two triangles here. The strength limit is in comparison with the x as written here while the tensile strength of the steel is in respective to this height which is determined by d minus x as written here this forms these equations move the base to the opposite side you will get this from these equations you are able to determine the strength in the tension steel of the columns now let us look at the column sections without tensions. The neutral axis will be beyond the cross sections of the column. And the strength limit happens here, which is 3h per 7 from the top of the columns. Now we are looking at these triangles. To be more precise, if we want to obtain the strength in the compression steel here, we are looking at these triangles and these triangles. The ratio of the strength limits here, 0 0.02, is in respect to this height, 
which is obtained by minusing x with 3h per 7 as compared here. To determine the strength in this compression steel here, this height is referred, which is x minus d prime as compared here. From these equations, move the epsilon sc to the opposite while the entire fractions to the opposite here. Rearrange and simplify the solutions, you get these equations. With the known positions of the neutral axis, we are able to determine the compression steel strength in the columns. Next, we look at epsilon S here. The triangles that we are interested now is this and this. Again, the strength limit 0 0.002 is in comparison with this height, which is the x minus 3h per 7, as compared here. As for this, it is in respect to this height, which is x minus d, as compared here. Rearrange the functions, you will get this. From these functions, you are able to determine the strength of the steel here.